Hello, my name is James Hagerty. I'm a demography statistician with the Central Statistics Office. And today I am presenting the population and migration estimates for April 2021. Starting with the main results. Inward migration in the 12 months to April 2021 is estimated to have decreased to 65,200 from 85,400 the previous year. Outward migration also decreased over the same period to 54,000 from 56,500. These combined changes resulted in positive net migration of 11,200 in the year to April 2021. Natural increase over the same period was 22,800. The combined effect of these components was an increase in the population of 34,000 or 0.7%. This compares to an increase of 55,900 or 1.1% the previous year. As a result, the population in April 2021 was estimated to be 5,011,500. April 2021 represents the first time the population has exceeded 5 million since the 1851 census and the population is now 2.2 million persons higher than the low point in 1961 when the population was just over 2.8 million. Now looking at the components of the population change in more detail and referring first to natural increase. Ireland continues to have sustained natural increase driven by births, which stood at 55,500 in the year to April. However, this represents a decline of 2,800 on the 58,300 births registered in the previous year, and a fall of almost 20,000 on the 75,100 births recorded in 2011. Deaths in the year to April 2021 are recorded at 32,700, an increase of 1,500 deaths on the previous year. The resulting births minus deaths results in a natural increase in the population of 22,800. This is the lowest level of natural increase since 2000. It is worth noting that since 2012, deaths have outnumbered births in the EU 27, and Ireland is now one of only 11 EU 27 countries to currently be experiencing natural increase. It is also worth noting that the population of the EU 27 declined slightly in 2020. Why are the number of births falling? Births dipped below 60,000 in 1987 and didn't return to this level until 2002, reaching a low point of 48,000 in 1994. This impacts the number of births today as there are a relatively smaller number of women coming through to the key childbearing age group, 30 to 39. The average age at which women have their first child is also increasing and is now 31.4 years of age. In 1980, it was just less than 25 years of age. The fertility rate is also declining. In 1980, each woman of childbearing age had 3.2 children on average over her childbearing years. By 2020, this had declined to just 1.6 children. The combination of fewer women in the key childbearing age cohorts, allied with a lower fertility rate, leads to a fall in births. And this trend looks set to continue in the short to medium term. You can see that this year, about 42,000 women are due to fall out of the key age group 30 to 39, and they will be replaced next year by just under 30,000 women. Moving on to inward migration. In the year to April 2021, it is estimated that 65,200 persons arrived to live in Ireland. 30,200 of these were returning Irish nationals, an increase of 1,300 on the previous year. 35,000 non-Irish nationals arrived to live in Ireland a decrease of 21,500 on the 56,500 
non-Irish nationals who moved to Ireland last year. COVID-19 and the associated travel restrictions are likely to have impacted this figure. When we look at outward migration, the release shows that in the 12 months to April 2021, outward migration is estimated to have decreased to 54,000 from 56,500 the previous year. Outflows among Irish nationals decreased to 22,800 from 28,300 the previous year, while among non-Irish nationals, outflows increased to 31,200 from 28,300. Therefore, net inward migration is estimated at 11,200 in the year to April 2021, which is a decrease of 17,700 on the 28,900 recorded the previous year. Irish nationals experienced net inward migration of 7,300 in 2021, an increase of 6,800 on the net inflow of 500 in 2020. Net inward migration of non-Irish nationals decreased to 3,900 in 2021 from 28,300 in 2020, a decrease of just over 86%. In the year to April 2021, the UK proved itself to be a popular location for migration flows. 18,200 persons left Ireland to live in the UK, up from 10,000 last year, while 19,100 persons moved to Ireland from the UK, up from 15,300 in 2020. Migration by principal economic status is detailed in Table 6 of the release and applies to those aged 15 years and over only. For outward migrants, the status refers to their status prior to departure, while for inward migrants, it is their current status. For inward migrants, the largest category at work represents 57%, while 15% stated that they were unemployed and 11.8% were recorded as students. Looking at outward migrants by their principal economic status prior to departure, 58.6% were at work and 21.6% were students, while just over 10% described themselves as unemployed. Now, looking at Ireland's changing population structure, we can see that between 2016 and 2021, persons aged 65 and over are the only group to increase their population share. And they increased from 13.3% in 2016 to 14.8% of the total in 2021. This equates to a volume increase of 112,500. The working age population, i.e. those traditionally aged 15 to 64, have increased in volume by around 170,000 since 2016, but they have seen their population share decline slightly from 65.5% to 65.3%. The population aged 0 to 14 has seen its population share decline by 1.3 percentage points since 2016, and this is largely due to the fall in births since 2016. Dependency ratios provide a useful measure of the population's age structure by showing the population age 0 to 14 and 65 and over as a percentage of the traditional working age population, i.e. those aged 15 to 64. In 2021, Ireland's older dependency ratio was 22.7%. This means Ireland had almost 4.5 persons of traditional working age for each person aged 65 and over. In the EU27, the older dependency ratio was 32%, a ratio of 3.3 persons of working age for each person aged 65 and over. Ireland is currently the youngest country in the EU27. When we look at all persons aged 0 to 14 and 65 and over as a proportion of those aged 15 to 64, we see that Ireland had a total dependency ratio of 
This means that Ireland had two persons aged 15 to 64 for each person in the younger and older age groups. This is broadly in line with EU averages. All regions showed some population increase in the year to April 2021. However, Dublin's population increased by just 8,300 in 2021, compared with just over 22,000 persons in 2020. This brings the population of Dublin to almost 1.43 million persons in April 2021, amounting to 28.5% of the state total. And finally now, looking at the population by nationality and comparing the proportion of Irish nationals to non-Irish nationals, you will see that there was no change in the proportions between 2020 and 2021. In 2021, non-Irish nationals accounted for 12.9% of the population. And as I've said, this is the same as the previous year. That concludes my presentation. The tables in the release generally contain seven years of data, but you will find tables with further retrospection on the CSO website. Thank you for listening.